This burger is $2.41. This burger is $8.54. Is this burger worth three and a half times more? Let's find out. All right, to get started, let's talk about the idea for today. We get tons of comments, as you guys know, and one thing that stuck in my mind, doesn't matter how much money you spend on ingredients. Everybody has their own budget. So today we have two different burgers, two different ideas, two different philosophies. Doesn't matter if you grind your own beef, doesn't matter if you buy the best ingredients, doesn't matter if you buy the cheapest things you could possibly find. We're gonna make two different burgers, compare them together and see, doesn't matter how much money you spend. Look what we got. This by no means is disrespecting or anything. All we did was go by pure price, okay? So we bought American cheese, we bought ground beef, and we bought hamburger buns. We're keeping it very classic, very simple. No toppings and no sauce because I do want to be able to taste a difference if there is a difference. Over here on the expensive side, sometimes I like to dabble in a little uh, different cuts of meat, up my game up a little bit. So we have some brioche buns, some American cheese, we have a ribeye steak, we have some tenderloin, and we have some short rib. I'm just gonna take these meats, cut them up, and then we're gonna freeze them for about 30, 45 minutes, and then we're gonna get ready to ground them. All right, the ground beef is done and I'm gonna start breaking it down into six ounce portions. Typically we do a roughly three ounce uh, patty when we smash them and we double those. So that's how we got to the six ounces. While I'm breaking those down into six ounce portions and get ready to griddle those off, we got some fantastic numbers for you. Cheers to my wife because she's a better mathematician than I am. Quickly break it down. We did a um, 10 ounce ribeye 10 ounce filet and 20 ounces of short rib, okay? The numbers at first didn't shock you until we heard, until I had Amy uh, give me the percentages. The cost of the breakdown is um, $2.41 for a built burger on the cheaper side. The expensive burger that we're doing is $8.54. All right, to give you a quick rundown of the numbers another way, it's like a, what, a $6 difference? So when you look at it at that point, six times four for an average family of four, that's 24 bucks. That is a huge difference. So will it make a difference in the long run? We're gonna find out. I love this little Weber, Weber mold. Makes the greatest little patties. Look at there. Next up is the ground beef in the tube. Fantastic difference. Look, I'm sure you could find cheaper ground beef and I'm sure you could find more expensive items to add to your fresh ground chuck. One thing I wanted to do is kind of just go like the grocery store route. We didn't go to a specialty store or anything like that. So I just want to keep it just about as normal as possible. You, you gotta be kidding me. You couldn't make that up Honey, if you tried. Way in the press. Oh, well, <laughs> doesn't matter. It was a ride on six. I was like, golly, that's a short six. I've heard that forever. Let's get that griddle heated up. Just looking at the different price really quick. This bun's 18 cents. This bun's $1.25. That's like seven times the difference. We're just going to get them toasted up so that way we're working on our burgers. We don't have to worry about our buns later. I'm just coming back in here and just making that burger just a hair smaller since the uh, those other buns are so much smaller. So we're looking at about a 500 degree griddle and we're just going to cook these to about a medium. You would think, obviously, that we would add smash that since we created it for burgers. But somebody commented uh, a couple days ago on a video and said that they've been looking around and testing different ones. They ordered our seasoning, they tried to shake that, and they put it on burgers and absolutely loved it. We've been doing shake that on burger or steaks lately. So I thought since it's the beef con, why not try it out, see what he's talking about. I don't even know if I've ever tried it myself. So salt, pepper, garlic, and burger, uh, butter, burger. And I thought it'd be a little bit more neutral flavor besides the burger seasoning with all the extra stuff in there. So that's what we're gonna season the, the burgers with. Woo! That's gonna be hard to beat right there. Look at that crust. Now that's no smashing or anything. All 
right, the burgers are done. We're just allowing them to rest. I think it's key. Uh, the one thing I noticed right away when I was cooking it uh, on the flip side, the first time we flipped was the fresh ground steak burger was able to hold its shape more naturally. I thought that this burger from the pre-ground package poofed up a lot more, uh, really became a lot taller. Um, that's probably because even when I was packing it, it felt like it was tight to begin with. So that moisture tries to escape and it just, it's almost like the idea of like a muffin or a baked good. Um, you can see the difference in the cheese quality. Both had great crust. So I'm gonna try to keep my unbiased opinion That goes there. All right, look at that little bun. That's why I shortened that burger up a little bit. Because if not, it'd be hanging out all over the edge. Right before I cut in these burgers, we just wanted to quickly talk about toppings and or sauces. We omitted all that because the prices vary so much. Plus we want to get a true gauge of the beef itself because whatever you add after this is up to you. Just pure beef cost. So bun, meat, and cheese. Well, that's tender. Woo. Tried my best to cook them to the same temp. Looks pretty even. Yep. All right, kid. I'm actually going to try this one first. I'm pretty, I don't know why. I keep going to the, the It definitely one. seems like it had more fat, which you would think would give it a leg up. Well, I mean. It's juicy. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> Let's see. Wow. This season. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. I can't tell you the last time I had a burger with nothing on it. No, mm. no toppings. Oh, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. <laughs> Props to Walmart. <laughs> All right. You don't know my answer yet, but it's got to be unanimous. <laughs> It's unanimous that the seasoning is really great on burger. <laughs> Should we count to three and say which one that we would both reach for? What's the name? What do you mean? Oh, just reach for the one we like. Yeah, All right. I'll, I'll do this, okay. and then one, two, three, and then we'll right. and then we'll right. point. I got you. Okay, you ready? Yeah. One, two, three. <laughs> that is that is god awful. I cannot believe this. I am the person that enjoys food. I truly enjoy food. I like cooking it. I like playing around recipes. I like indulging myself sometimes with an ingredient that I should never buy or it's a little bit out of the price range for that week or something like that. Especially YouTube has been able to allow us to buy certain ingredients that we never thought we'd ever buy. Not price wise, but we did that Asian a little while ago. Broad bean paste. Yeah, I'd never buy that, right? I'm telling you right now. <laughs> so this is tender. It is beefy flavor. But for some reason, that, I'm, yeah. if you line 10 people up, I could not imagine them eating this and be like, that's the cheapest thing that you could possibly make. I, I don't think they would get that reaction. Yep. Here, should we do a, we'll do a little a screen thing right here of our receipts. All right, guys, that's what I do with these videos. I'm not going to over talk it. I'm just honestly surprised by the results. I really wanted the expensive one to win because it kind of validates what I've been doing and what I love to do. But unfortunately, that was not the case. Uh, most restaurants run about 30% food costs. It could vary between restaurants. But let's just say this is a uh, quick mat $27 burger. And this is, what'd you say, a $7 burger? $750. $750 burger. Uh, it's just interesting to see the difference. And that's why we do these videos. Oh, I can't believe this. If you guys are interested, hit that join button down below. It's a membership program. We thank each and every one of you for taking time for doing so. Check us out on Instagram or find us on Facebook, The Grover Group. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button. Pound the notification button. Share with your friends. Peace. We're going to fight each other <laughs> for this one. I can't believe that. <laughs> Is that what you thought was going to happen? Or did you kind of think no. the same Especially thing? with the bun. We love brioche buns. 100% I mean, agree. I thought the bun alone would give it the edge.